welcome all those viewers uh, for God's View. We just are so glad you joined us today. Remember, while we're going through the program, to call those prayer lines at the bottom of the screen, 307-637-PRAY. We're seeing signs, wonders, and miracles on those prayer lines. We are so humbled and honored for the things that have happened on those prayer lines, the fruit that we are getting. It's amazing, all the fruit. I mean, uh, people are out of wheelchairs. The deaf is hearing. The blind is seeing. I mean, we are just so honored and humbled. And, and we are just hooking up with faith with you. So if you need a breakthrough, don't go through it alone. Call those prayer lines, 307-637-PRAY. How easy is that? 7729. So God can give you your breakthrough. Now, we would like to welcome all of you viewers to uh, God's View. I'm Charlene back to Mary, one of your God's View hosts. This is Jennifer Griffin. We have Priscilla Pruitt, Lana Garner, and oh, girls, we are so excited. Guess who's in the studio with us today? Kavika Cornelius. He is from Freedom and Joy Ministries, and believe me, he is so free. He does more for the gospel than most people I know. I'm not kidding. He's out there on the streets. He's out there doing psychic fairs. He's a pastor of a church. I mean, listen, this man of God does so much, and and. Freedom and joy, he is free in the gospel of Jesus Christ, and he is full of joy that is his strength. Amen. It is our strength. I mean, and you can tell. You're going to tell <laughs> as you help us welcome uh, Pastor Apostle, prophet, you're all five of them, brother. You're all five. He, he moves in all of those offices. Yeah. And uh, Freedom and Joy Ministries. He's out of Loveland, Colorado is where his church is. And we'll put that address there. You can get a hold of him, like at the bottom of the screen, www.freedomandjoy.org. You can um, get all the information you need. They have wonderful products you can mm. order. They have these really cool t-shirts and stuff mm -hmm. and so make sure you go to that website across the bottom of the screen and help us welcome our dear friend and man of God Kavika Cornelius. Yeah. Yeah. Yay! You just shoot Thank brother. You, for you know we roll with the Holy Spirit here. Mm, so if you on. want to talk about your testimony, you want to talk about what God's doing. I know you guys are getting ready to go to Vegas here real yeah. soon. You oh, go on man. the streets of Vegas and take a missionary team every year. Man, you'll learn how to prophesy to people and do all kinds of stuff. People get set free and healed on the streets of Las Vegas. Wow. So you roll. I don't want to talk anymore. You roll. <laughs> oh man, it's such an honor Hallelujah. to be here with you guys. And uh, I'll tell you, man, it, uh, last time God showed up here, it, it was just uh, holy. Y'all welcome heaven on earth. And so mm -hmm. when I got the invite, I was just so excited to Aww. be here with these ladies and just, just host heaven with you. But, you know, I'm just feeling in my spirit um, that God wants to release a breakthrough uh, in people's lives Amen. today. And, you know, I woke up this morning and I saw this oil just pouring down. Mm -hmm. And I heard the Lord say that there's a breaker's anointing that yeah. he wants to release on this show today and just mm -hmm. even just praying on the way here um i just i just felt like there's people that need a breakthrough and so uh you know i, I can just yeah. share from my own life about how specifically praise mm -hmm. is the key mm -hmm. to breakthrough yes. yes you know i know you guys can relate is when mm -hmm. when you're going through a hard time you feel some oppression whether the enemy's attacking or or this mm -hmm. is going on mm -hmm. or maybe you're in a wheelchair mm -hmm. you know just something <laughs> happened in your life that, and you just feel the oppression of the enemy or you feel some discouragement and i tell you there's something that happens when you begin to praise the lord yes. in the midst of what you're going Amen. through wow. you just begin to praise him and you know i'm reminded of paul and silas mm -hmm. You remember those guys? Yes. Oh, yeah. They remember those guys? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we just talked about them. Yeah. I love it. That's cute. Remember those guys? Come on. <laughs> Come on. Right. Let me see. I think something. Right, right. <laughs> the apostle guy, right? You know, I mean, they were both locked up. Mm -hmm. They were in prison. They had done nothing wrong. Mm -hmm. now, I'm not saying you might have done something wrong. You might have might have made a mistake or yeah. whatever it is. And mm -hmm. they just begin to praise God. Mm -hmm. They could have sunk into depression. Yeah. They could have said, man, I'm just giving up. I'm, I'm done with with, with whatever for whatever, mm -hmm. but they begin to praise God. Mm -hmm. And I tell you, I feel like there's a key Lord. for people that are watching, and I see people that, that just been dealing with long-term issues, long-term struggles, even mm -hmm. sicknesses, man, whatever it is. And I feel like God's saying that there's a breaker's anointing oh, that's Lord. pouring Amen. out even now just on the set. There's wow. a breaker's anointing. And God's saying, listen, the key to access 
my breaker's anointing is praise. Mm -hmm. oh, wow. Just begin to praise. praise. You know. Yeah, so Can't you just because you know what reminded me, and it's a really old song. Those chains that seem to bind you Ooh. drop powerless behind you Amen. when you, you praise can, Him. Yeah, wow. yeah. Yeah. Can you see yeah. the demons going? No, I don't want to hear that. Praise. <laughs> Let's get out of here. That's what happened. You know, in breakthrough. Oh. If you really look it up in the Greek, I, 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 I just happen to have this in my. So funny how yeah. the Holy Spirit works. I just happen to have this. A breakthrough means quantum leap, advance, mm. giant strides, <laughs> jump, increase, leaps and bounds, abrupt change, and abrupt meant suddenly, wow. unexpected. Yeah. So as wow. Kavika's here today, he's a mighty powerful, he, he moves in the power of God, as all of us do, because we submit to the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes. So what you want to do is believe God, expect God, because it says you can get some abrupt change, some suddenlies mm. today. Mm. You can get some things that are unexpected. You heard the man of God just say, there's things that have been going on a long, long time that God spoke to him this morning. He wants to pour out the oil. He wants to pour out that liquid glory on you. Hallelujah. Wow. Come on. Come yeah. on. Come on. Take a drink. Wow. Take a drink. We'll Take drink a today. drink. Come on. You know what's amazing yeah. to me? That he is doing so much in a wheelchair, yeah. more yeah. than most Christians that can do anything, yeah. that walk. And yet you do all this. Like, tell us how. Mm. It, it, it's awesome. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I tell you. Um, you know, I came to know Jesus. I was in the county jail mm. and uh, was facing eight years in prison wow. when I was 15 years old mm. and got radically saved. And But here is the kicker. I got baptized in the Holy Ghost. Yes. Yeah. And I tell you, that changes everything. It does. Uh, if you read in the book of Acts, when uh, the Holy Spirit poured out on believers and there was just an outpouring of the Holy Spirit. And Jesus said that you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon you. Mm -hmm. And I'll tell you, that's what happened was that Holy Ghost baptized yeah. me and I became empowered. That was before my car accident. Mm. A lot of people think I got saved after I had a car accident. But I tell you, I had a car accident when I was after a year and a half of, uh, a year and a little longer of ministry training. And, uh, but I tell you, it's a relationship with the Holy Spirit. Yes. He'll empower you to go through whatever, whenever, as you just stay filled with Him. Mm -hmm. And so yeah. it's a continual choice, you if know. If they just yeah. ask, ask yeah. that, Lord, I want everything. Mm -hmm. I want Come everything on. you want to give yes. me. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's, that's what so we're good. talking about. Amen. That's yes. so good. Yeah. All of Him. When we got, when I got saved, I remember people saying to us, because we got, baptized in the Holy Ghost and everything, you know, you're going to, yeah, it's going to wear down. It's going right. to, see, I see oh, with you, man, just it just increases, oh, increases, on, right? And yeah. that's the truth. So, so don't you, listen to that lie. So when you were in jail, you got out of jail and then you got, you got saved in jail. Yeah. And then what, what happened? What kind of Reduced answer? your sentence. Yeah. I was, yeah, I was facing eight years. God wow. did a miracle after I got saved. Baptized in the Holy Spirit, was speaking in tongues, being <laughs> contagious, starting fires when I was locked up. Got out in two years, <laughs> and uh, I tell you, man, it was it was it was awesome. That's awesome. Mm. It was cool. But you know, I, I joined an internship called Master's Commission mm -hmm. down in Denver, and wow. uh, started my second year was when I was in a car accident. Mm. And so uh, yeah, I was starting my second year in a terrible car accident, and almost died and weren't sure if I was going to live. But I tell you, it's, it's a wonderful Holy Spirit. Because mm -hmm. listen, the Holy Spirit makes God's manifest presence tangible in our lives. Yes. Mm -hmm. And then when you, when you just welcome it, you can wake up and, and just say, Holy Ghost, oh, just fill me right now. Just fill my cup right now. And the Father says, if any of you ask for the Holy Spirit, He'll fill you. Yeah. And so I tell you, it's a continual feeling. You know, I, I tell people drink like five times a day. And Jesus said, whoever's thirsty, come to me mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. drink. His word. Speaking of the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. and, and the all living of water of God. And, yes. and so you just walk and just say, God, fill me up. Pour yes, your your spirit into me, and and we, you know, and it just changes everything. It's like mm. you can just shift from doom and gloom to happy <laughs> yeah. and just Isn't joyful in five minutes. And while that everybody right now should be having an awakening to yeah. that, because mm. it's again like like what Priscilla just said. I mean, it was such a point. I mean, how many people are doing nothing for the kingdom, and he's. 
I mean, this is amazing. This it's guy just really amazing. kicks the devil around, <laughs> and he does all kinds of stuff. And I don't like to be disrespectful. Some people don't like kick butt, you know. But, but anyways, <laughs> you know, it, it just really pushes the uh, yes. darkness mm-hmm. back, the Amen. gates of hell back, and Amen. brings the glory and the presence of God. And one thing I've seen with Kavika, where he goes to portal goals. It's like a, a portable uh, a, a portal, a portable portal. It just goes where where he goes, yeah. you know, like porta potties. <laughs> no, oh, no, 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 I got that. I'm sorry. But he's got, That's one way to put it. So, <laughs> yeah, there's, there's portals. There is portals in the heavens, and you just kind of take that everywhere you go, and God just gives a portal and open heaven. And I mean, how amazing! So keep going. We're just talking. Yeah, we want to hear what you have to say. Yeah, no, that's yeah. that's so good. And you know, we can all do that. Like, yes. you just stir me up, Charlene. I thought you just get <laughs> getting around you. She it's has like, an effect on all of us. Yeah, yeah. I mean, <laughs> she's just contagious with the Holy Ghost you and are too. just a uh, <laughs> tangible presence. But mm. I tell you, you know, so I mean, thinking about Paul and Silas, these these two guys, they're locked up. They said they they were taken to the inner prison, mm. like mm. like the the worst part of the prison, mm. locked up, mm. have chains. But they had a choice. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's like we have a choice mm-hmm. when we're in a rough mm-hmm. spot. And I feel like mm-hmm. there's many of you watching that are in a rough spot. Mm-hmm. And God just highlighted. I feel like God just bringing to the surface and opening up your eyes. Some of us don't even realize how rough it's been. We just kind of numb out. You know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. And I feel like God just opened up eyes, even just ones that are watching uh-huh. right now, to cycles, to addictions, to habits, yeah. oppression, mm-hmm. and different things. And God's saying, listen. Paul and Silas are a prototype for you. And they begin to praise me. And God's saying, will you begin to praise me in the midst of your challenge? Will you, be, will you begin to praise me in the midst of your addiction, in the midst of that struggle you're going through? Even long-term cycles, I see them breaking mm-hmm. off today. I see this anointing oil mm-hmm. pouring over you, access through praise, you. just access. breaking off breaking off addictions, breaking off uh, uh, disabilities, whatever it is. And I, I, I just feel like God just wants to release that. Uh, just strong. But I tell you, all you got to do is make a choice. Yeah. That's it, That's brother. Powerful. That's it. Receive That's it. it. Receive mm-hmm. it. Yeah, that is Amen. powerful because you said, you know, in the midst of addiction, start praising them. Don't yeah. wait until you're delivered. Yeah. You, get, you do it yeah, now. Because yeah, the chains yeah. that what? The chains that seem to bind you yeah. drop powerless behind you when you praise wow. him because it's always it's always this big act and this big show mm-hmm. that the devil tries to put on makes this circumstance look so bad for so long like the man of God has said he said at first it was the people that had been going through things for a long time and so circumstances is still screaming and saying this is never going to get over oh yeah because the man of God brought a word today saying breakthrough believe it Amen. yeah Ooh. and you know the thing is is uh, I've been in a wheelchair since September 2002 and I tell you I know that through the finished work of the cross through all that's been purchased for me at the cross healing is mine I see miracles through my I just saw this gal heal spinal cord shoulder blade healed on the spot Mm. just the other day at the park you know God did it and I see it through my hands so you know owning that for myself but until you might say well man I got this issue I got this struggle going on and I've been praising God Mm. listen whether God brings a breakthrough outwardly or inwardly Mm. there's breakthrough for you and and I I believe God for that total healing that total miracle for you but sometimes it's even more miraculous Mm. when in the midst of prison like Paul for two years the guy wrote crazy things he said he said, rejoice in the Lord always. Yeah. Great, great, great. Mm-hmm. Always. Yes. Always. Yes. So listen, I, I don't know if God's breakthrough for you is outwardly. If I start to get up out of this wheelchair right now, mm-hmm. you better watch out. I'm going to do it. Amen. But listen, until then, I got breakthrough in my spirit, and I live above it. I love that wow. you said owning it for myself. Yes. You know, even though it hasn't happened yet, you're like, you know, it's going to happen. Yeah. It's just God's Amen. timing. It reminds Come on. me of when uh, there was those blind men and Jesus was passing them. The disciples asked Jesus, you know, who sinned? You know, it was the blind men, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And he, they, they asked him, who sinned? Um, the parents or, you know, these men? Mm-hmm. And he said, it's for my glory. Come on. And so mm-hmm. I feel this too for you as, as yeah. well. This is for God's glory. Yeah. I feel like 
people seeing you and what you're doing, regardless of your circumstances, that you're still praising God and you still love him, mm -hmm. that is a bigger testimony mm -hmm. than just, oh, I walked out, you know, I was, uh, you know, I was a paraplegic and, you know, now mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, I'm walking and, you know, I feel like your testimony is even more mm -hmm. powerful, powerful yeah, because of this, because Amen. of your attitude. And That's you right. know what's really big to me that just keeps dinging in the spirit like a ripple on the water and I'm sure it's going for everybody else. He said outward or in inward. Exactly. Yeah. Outward or inward. Either yeah, way. It was so powerfully said and all of a sudden it just mm -hmm. boom, 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 yes. boom. In the spirit realm, just like when you throw that rock on the water and it keeps rippling, I believe that's going to be yeah. some huge ripple Whoa. effect for, uh, you know, uh, a long time to come, season after season, because this will not only be video. You know, God can put an anointing on something that isn't live. You can watch it six months later, mm -hmm. and it'll ripple over your heart yeah. and maybe change that inward. It doesn't matter, like the man of God said, that was so powerful, inward yeah. or outward. Yes, yeah. because just listening right to you here, it's, it's doing something inward to me just mm -hmm. to see yes. your joy. And, and how how your faith is just it's intoxicating. Yeah. We're here yes. and we're like feeling it. We're feeling, yes. we're feeling yeah. off of it. Isn't that's the right. inward so. the part that's eternal anyway? Yes, you exactly. know that. I'm just Come saying on. we're living in this earth tent. Come on. So the inward is eternal. So whatever is mm, happening there will continue to go on. Yeah. So on. that's the inward big breakthrough. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's I have awesome. been feeling the wind of the Holy Ghost just wow. chills <laughs> up and down wow. ever since we started. Yeah. Testimony. It's awesome. Wow, okay, wow. okay, keep on going, brother. Wow, we just we're on. so excited. We yes. just yes. Yes. tell us more about your, yeah, your adventures out on the street. Yeah, I'm you know, oh, awesome. uh, we love just bringing God's love and power outside the four walls. Mm -hmm. um, and, and it's so much fun, you know, at Freedom and Joy Ministries, our, uh, our, our priority is the manifest presence of God. You know, a place of encounter where people encounter Jesus and, and they're equipped to do the stuff. But what happens inside the four walls needs to come outside the four mm -hmm. walls. Mm -hmm. And that same encounter we have inside and, and the glory and the manifest presence and healings and miracles and all that. The last words of Jesus before he, he ascended to the Father was go. Go. Mm -hmm. it, wasn't, it wasn't go build a building and, and stay inside and get drunk in the Holy Ghost. No, mm -hmm. it was like... It was like go into all the world mm -hmm. and yeah. preach the gospel. Mm -hmm. And so we love doing that, man. We love uh, just taking God's love. We're about to take a team to Vegas mm -hmm. coming up in July uh, 16th to the 23rd. Got one spot left. I um, want to go. And so, <laughs> I'm like, I'll take it. Right? <laughs> <laughs> we do. We got, we got really one like, spot left. Seriously. Seriously. No, seriously. Yeah. <laughs> seriously. Yeah, come on, man. So, uh, that's, that's awesome. And. And uh, well, we don't have a spot left now, but we train people just how to heal the sick and how to yeah. love on people. And mm -hmm. I feel That's like there's going to be just a specific highlight on girls in the sex trade. Oh, I love it. We, I need to be there. We've seen some powerful mm -hmm. encounters. Amen. You guys want to hear a story? Yes. Yeah. Oh, my God. Sure, so, like, yeah. So, uh, you me? No. EJ, EJ, my boy EJ, if you're watching, man. Uh, me and EJ, we were walking back. So we take teams to go out late, man. We stay out to like two in the morning mm -hmm. and just love on people, heal the sick, prophesy, mm -hmm. and we raise the dead if, if we can, right, Charlene? We yeah. look for that opportunity. We just had a dead raised from the ministry to show. Stop the car. Right? Yes. <laughs> oh, Stop the first car. one that I really have, wow. uh, you know, uh, documented, raised from the dead. Yes. Wow. The show. But they were having yeah. a funeral. Yeah. And this lady been dead 10 hours, she raised from the dead. We, we, we sat right on there. Yeah, wow. but the Come yeah. on, powerful. Yeah. Wow, and so so me and EJ, this is about three years ago, our second time out to visit. This is going to be our fifth year doing it, and we're walking back. It's like 2 in the morning, and uh, these two African-American ladies, beautiful ladies, uh, they, they start just kind of uh, picking up on EJ and I. And, you know, and before you knew it, we really recognized that they were prostitutes and they were looking for money and you know they're saying hey you know come up come up to this the hotel with us you know and and, oh. and before you knew it God flipped it mm. and the Holy Spirit fell 
Mm. We're going to begin to prophesy. Holy Spirit read both wow. of their mail. Mm. Five minutes into it, they're both weeping. Like the woman wow. at the well. Like the woman yep. at the well. Come <laughs> on. They're, 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 they're weeping under the presence of wow. God. Wow. And God heals one of their backs on the spot. Wow. And uh, we just begin to share Jesus. And a couple of our lady teammates came and just began to minister to them. And it was powerful. But I believe that uh, we're going to see a lot of that this year. And actually, Joel Sewell just prophesied it's going to be just such a great glory Holy that takes place in yeah. Vegas. And, and I've already seen seen some great things in the spirit. So we're so excited. And man. even, you know, like you say, when you even go on the streets, you've done psychic fears and really showed people what it is to real true prophecy, not yeah. some psychic gift, which is, you know, an abomination to God. And, you know, when you talk about inward, you know, it's so amazing. Kavika hits the streets and everything. He has not stopped believing in the power of healing. Yes. That Jesus' yeah. blood was shed for healing. And look at, he sees all kinds of healings. He's laying hands on the sick mm -hmm. and they are recovering. He is not stopping doing what the yeah. uh, spirit of the living God predestined, called, ordained for him to do. And he's in a wheelchair. Has he gotten his manifestation outward? Yeah. But he's got some good exactly. inward. Yeah. And he's seeing people saved. He's seeing, I mean, he, uh, healed in their bodies, yet he hasn't had his yet, I mean, manifested. But you know what? He's still doing the gospel. Mm -hmm. And I speak to all kinds of people. And you know what they do? They're like, oh, I just got to go to this group and I just got to keep getting fed. And, you know, we really need to hear about this. And, you know, those groups, those small little groups, some of them now, organic groups are on fire. They're doing all kinds of things. But I see all these people, they just keep yeah. getting taught, taught. Mm -hmm. And I'm saying, and they're, everybody else is wrong. I'm like, well, what are you doing for the gospel? What are you doing? Well, nothing. We meet every week and we're getting fed. What? Mm -hmm. No, God called you to go, like yeah. the man of God said. Exactly. Go and do something. Don't sit there every week and think you got to you got to get fed and you got to do mm -hmm. something. Uh uh uh. Faith without what works mm -hmm. is dead. Dead. Wow. Well, Kavika dead. has found wow. the secret to life. Yeah. The mm. secret to life that everybody wants to know. Mm. You know, how mm. can I have joy in the midst of the most difficult situation? Yeah. Go, girl. And yeah. there it is. Wow. Yeah, there exactly. it is. Wow. Bam. Exactly. In the presence Bam. of the Lord, mm. there is fullness of joy. But check yeah. this out. He inhabits the, the praises yes. of his people. Exactly. So whatever it is you're going through, if you feel like you're going through that prison, that cycle's just been recurring. That addiction has just been getting you down. Get your praise on. Oh, amen. Just begin to praise him. Hallelujah. Amen. Lord, I worship amen. you. Yes. Take your eyes off the addiction, yes. off the struggle, off the pain, and begin to praise him. Amen. He might give you that inward breakthrough right there might get that outward breakthrough but I feel like there's outward breakthroughs happening Amen. today Amen. I see addictions being broken yes I see struggles being broken Amen. I see long-term cycles and habits Hallelujah. being broken today Amen. by the Amen. Spirit of God get your praise on Amen. worship him man throw Thank your you favorite Lord. CD and just start speaking in tongues just yes. worship him today your breakthrough you're on the verge of breakthrough mm -hmm. as you Hallelujah. do that it's a choice though yes. make the choice make mm -hmm. the choice which is yeah. bombarded by hundreds of voices yeah. aren't we oh. all day long telling us things that are so negative mm -hmm. and that's why it's so imperative that we be in the mm -hmm. word of god yeah. Yeah. that we know the truth that's the truth mm -hmm. it sets us free it's Amen. the only thing wow. yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. so tell on. me this were you serving God before this happened to you? Were you ready? I was, you yeah. Were? Yeah, before my accident, yeah, mm -hmm. I was. You were in the Master's I Commission I was in Master's in Commission. Mm -hmm. okay. I had some character issues. I was fresh out of jail, <laughs> you know. I mean, but... Uh, and they reduced but, yeah, your I was, sentence. I was doing my best going after God, yeah, mm -hmm. so. yeah. Do you feel like a higher calling after the accident? You know, um, I like to be so clear that I don't believe God caused it. Yeah. No, he didn't. And I know not. you're not saying I that. I believe that. But like some people, they will say, well, you know, Job and, and, and no. then the new covenant, Jesus dealt with mm -hmm. sickness and disease exactly. and all the that. Exactly, the blood of Jesus you know, is sufficient. Uh -huh. But when the enemy hits, enemy will hit hard. Mm -hmm. Or there might be a natural disaster that you face mm -hmm. uh, through it all. You know, mm -hmm. God will use the enemy's stumbling block and turn it into a stepping Amen. stone. Yes. Amen. And I tell you, you know, if this can encourage other people, 
going through a challenge just seeing me what I'm going through in a wheelchair and, 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 and it's not even about a wheelchair, but whatever challenge you're going through, mm -hmm. then just, man, take it and run with it. Say, hey, if this guy Kavika can do all that in a wheelchair, yeah. then what excuse do you have, right? Come on, mm -hmm. we can all just go and, and just do it. Mm -hmm. You know, Heidi Baker, she was in a wheelchair for like three years. Mm -hmm. and one thing she said that just blew my mind, Heidi Baker, yeah. raising the dead, healing Sign the sick, blind eyes open, woman. she was in yeah. a wheelchair. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. One thing she said, yeah. she said, Go with what you got. That's mm -hmm. right. Exactly. Some people are waiting until they they got it all together. They got yeah, it all that's... perfect. They're hundred percent righteous, hundred percent healed, and they they already are in here anyway in Christ. But mm -hmm. the thing is, you know, if you wait till all that's manifested, you're never gonna go and exactly. do the stuff. That's such a good point. You know, boast in your mm -hmm. weakness and move forward. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, I heard I heard yeah. something you said earlier is is pray in, in the spirit, pray in the Holy Ghost. Yeah. You know, maybe tell them how to receive that. Some people don't understand. Oh my that. gosh! I mean, mm. it, you know, I like it, 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 what happened in the upper room. It's available to everybody today. It's available to people watching right now. And, uh, you know, Jesus, he said, go and wait for the promise of the Holy Spirit. And since then, he's been poured out. But all the, all the believers, there are 120 in the upper room. They're waiting for the promise of the Father. And, you know, you know Jesus, he, he said, if a son asks his father for a piece of bread, he's not going to give him a stone. And how much more will the Father give the Holy Spirit to those who ask Him? And so if that's you, if you want your, your prayer language, you want to get baptized in the Holy Ghost right now, first of all, I just want to make sure you know Jesus. So repeat after me to say, Jesus, mm -hmm. I believe Jesus. you died on the cross for my sin. I, believe you I receive you into my heart. I ask you to come into my heart and thank you for saving me. Thank you for, for forgiving me. Thank you for giving me a whole new life. And, uh, and just welcome. And I just say, if you prayed that for the first time, congratulations, <laughs> you're born again. You're a new creature. Now, everyone listening, after praying that prayer, you want the Holy Spirit. I just want you to ask the Father right now. And you see what happened was the Holy Spirit fell in the upper room. And the Bible says that they began <clears throat> to speak in other tongues. Mm. And so I'm just going to pray right now for you and lead you in a prayer to receive the Holy Spirit. And then I just want you to begin by faith to speak. And I believe that God will meet you in that act of faith. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. I'm so sorry. We've got to go. Yeah. yeah. Uh, man, I'll tell you, this, this thing just flew by. It did. And uh, I know Jen was asking him when they held the two minute up, and I thought, oh, no, don't do it. Yeah, I know, but I knew it was almost mm -hmm. down to it. But anyways, here and there. Thank you so much for joining us today. If you don't know Jesus, that's what we're all about here. Just say, Jesus, come into my life. Forgive me of my sin. I confess with my mouth, believe in my heart, that you are Christ, the Son of the living God, that you died on a cross, you rose again, and you're coming back to take me. And that's all you got to do because he loves you. And come to him right where you are. I know I'm going fast. I usually say a few other things, but we're down to the nitty-gritty. But I wanted Kavika to finish us. Uh, that because it's so powerful because you have to be baptized in the Holy Spirit you know and then uh, listen call those prayer lines 307-637-PRAY that's 7729 please go to Kavika's uh, website get all the information he'll come in and speak and he'll rock your, your church your congregation any kind of conference and then go to our website this helps us keep coming into your home for the gospel of Jesus Christ if you give a love gift of $15 or more it comes you know include shipping we'll get it right out to you helps us keep coming into your home and around the world for the gospel of Jesus Christ. Oh, we love you, but Jesus loves you more. I'm so sorry. We're really quick, and uh, we'll try to answer all your comments if you uh, on the Facebook if you want to do it. Mm -hmm. I gotta go. Love you. It's only goodbye for.